Hello there, I'm Phil Vischer, and I'm here with my friend, Buck Denver. That's me, Buck Denver, man of news. Um, right. We're here to take you deep inside the world's most amazing book. You know, ever since Johann Gutenberg invented the printing press way back in 1440 AD, millions of different books have been printed. But of all those books, only one has sold more copies than any other, has been translated into more languages than any other, has affected the world more than any other book. Oh, I know what it hmm? is. Oh, uh, hi, Clive and Ian. I know what it is. Introduce yourself first. I'm Ian. And I'm Clive, his brother. And I know what it is. All right, Ian, tell us. What is the best-selling, most influential book of all time? Pat the Bunny. Hey, Ian. Good night, Moon. Oh, for heaven's sake. Pop on pop, green eggs and ham. Those are all good guesses, Ian, and they're all good books. In fact, I own every one of them, and I enjoy them quite a bit. But none of those are the best-selling, most influential book of all time. No, that title would go... To this book. It's as big as my head. And that's saying something. What is that giant book? This is a Bible. And... This is a Bible. And... This is a Bible. And... This is a Bible. That looks like a phone. It is. It's my phone. But on my phone are two different versions of the Bible. I've got Tetris on my phone. It's kind of fun. I think you're missing the point. We're talking about the Bible. <clears throat> right. The Bible has been translated into more than 2,000 different languages and dialects, making it the most translated, most influential, best-selling book in the history of the world. And I thought Tetris was popular. And that's why we're going to take you from one end of the Bible to the other in our new show, What's in the Bible with Buck Denver. Catchy title. But shouldn't it be What's in the Bible with Clive and Ian? That has a nice ring to it. No one wants to see What's in the Bible with Clive and Ian. They want to see What's in the Bible with Buck Denver, man of news. Well, who made you the king of the... Bible shows. Phil did when he put my name on the cover. Now, guys, let's not argue. This is a show about the Bible. Hi, y'all. Oh, hi, Chuck Wagon. You can't do a show about the Bible with Yankees and Brits. You need somebody from the buckle of the Bible belt. Someone with a guitar who can sing songs like this. Oh, the Bible is a book with about a million pages. Don't try to read it all at once. You're better off in stages. Don't drop it on your foot or your toes are gonna ache. Keep it clean and neat and warm and dry for goodness sake. Uh, Chuck Wagon, I don't know. Oh, the Bible is a book with a zillion million words. You can read it all in Hebrew, but it's gonna sound absurd. They were reading it in Jesus' day, and we still read it now. If your Bible's made of leather, it smells sorta like a cow. Oh, for the love of Henrietta Mears. Bunch of fellas can't teach the Bible all by themselves. It takes a lady's touch. Especially if that lady's a professional Sunday school teacher. Hi, Sunday school lady. Hello, dear. Welcome to What's in the Bible with Sunday School Lady. That's ridiculous. Who said she could come? Good heavens, Winifred. Only two minutes in and it's already a train wreck. Yes, Agnes. Should I change it? Oh, no, I love it. This is more fun than American Idol. We're Buck Denver, man of news. If you only talk to Yankees, your theology is sagging. You better learn your Bible with a fella like Joe Wagon. I've got a magic flannel grab. Hold it, hold it, hold it. We're teaching the Bible, which says an awful lot about cooperation and sharing and getting along with each other. Is that true? I'm afraid he's right. Good point. Why didn't you catch that magic flannel graph? Sleeping? Your eyes were wide open. So we're going to go through the Bible together. All of you can help. But, um... What do we call it? We already have a perfectly good name. Welcome to What's in the Bible with Buck Denver. And friends? And friends. Five bucks says they don't make it past Leviticus. You're on.